You can do both straight stitches and decorative stitches with the Husqvarna Viking Onyx 25 and a twin needle. So here we're going to show you a few things about twin needles, how to thread them up, and then what to look for when you pick some stitches to stitch out. So twin needles come in different sizes. You'll notice that they're 2.0 that it shows here. That means that the needles are two millimeters apart. If you go up to one that says 4.0, then they're wider, then there's 3.0, there's all different sizes. So you can go ahead and figure out which one you wanna use. And then we can do pin tucks with them, we can do decorative stitches. And you've seen the hem on the bottom of a lot of t-shirts or stretchy fabrics. That hem can be duplicated on this machine with a twin needle. So first, let's go ahead and start by putting our needle in. And I want you to be on a straight stitch in the center needle position. So make sure your stitch width is at zero before we do anything. We're gonna do some testing before we, uh, so a little walk before we run. So make sure that you are all set up and threaded correctly. Since we're gonna be using a secondary spool, I'm gonna need my spool pin that will go right here on the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take my, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put that little felt pad down just to help make sure it doesn't uh, spin away from me unexpectedly. If your machine is threaded already, you can just go ahead and thread right on top of it with the second color and just make sure it really gets into the take up lever and the tension. So if you wanna give it a little pull, make sure everybody's going together. Now I do guide you that the only thing you cannot do with a twin needle is use your needle threader. So you're kind of on your own for threading this. Uh, just note that if you lower the presser foot, the white part of that kind of ankle back there will assist you in giving you a little reflection and that will make it easier to pull the thread or, or see the thread to get it to go right through those. So just know. And then since we put a 2.0 twin needle on, we need to make sure that we don't do any stitches wider than, what's our max here? Six. So if we can do a stitch width of six and we put a 2.0 twin needle on, we cannot go any larger than four. I might even guide you to just be a hair less at three and a half once we start doing some decorative stitches, okay? So we take the stitch width of the machine, minus the size of the twin needle. So if you were gonna do a 4.0 twin needle, you're gonna need to reduce that six minus four, you're gonna be in the two range or just a hair less. So just kind of keep that in mind once we start stitching. Again, we can do this as a straight stitch, we could do this as a decorative stitch. You might even hand turn the first couple stitches just to make sure everything got threaded correctly. If it didn't, you'd hear it about now. So just find yourself kind of going a little slow as we start off and then we can kind of play around. So once we start to play around, let's just do a zigzag here. What was our stitch width max here? Four or less. So let's just go here. Again, if you wanna just double check that your needle swing doesn't hit the foot or doesn't go outside its boundaries, then you know you've got it dialed in correctly. Since I did have one of the clear open toe foot close by, I went ahead and put it on just so you can see what we're looking at uh, as we stitch. You can kind of see the needles just so like normal. And let's take a look at what we're kind of seeing for fun. Yes, so I put a solid pink to kind of partner with the variegated thread and that's already given me a fun look. If I switch over to another stitch, just again, make sure you kind of test the swing of everything. You, you can play around with stitch length all you want. It's the stitch width you always have to be careful with with a twin needle. So have some fun. You can practically do your all your decorative stitches that you did earlier. Ooh, I like that one. That one's really fun. Um, but just again, test. How about one of those stitches that kind of look like they were quilting stitches? I'm gonna do like the feather stitch. So this is, again, test and make sure all the stitches, all the needle jumps to the left and to the right, stay within their appropriate size, yes. And then we'll kind of take it slow, kind of work up to a happy speed. Just, I'm always careful when I work with a twin needle. 
Of course, sometimes it's called a double needle, so whatever you're used to calling it. But take a look, this is gonna be a really fun stitch. So explore the different uses of your decorative stitches. And before you know it, you might be using a twin needle more than you ever thought possible. This is one of the things we do talk about in our Husqvarna Viking Stitching Cosmos online course. That's the, the course that the, the quilt behind the machine is actually, every block is a different technique. Some uh, work with different accessory feet and one of them is all on twin needles. So I hope you'll give yourself some liberties, purchase a couple twin needles. Uh, great if you're having to mend or alter anything on the stretch category because this stitch is a stretch stitch with the straight stitch that we started off with because and the reason for it is because on the back your your bobbin is catching both sides so it's creating an, a, an accordion so it can be stretched so this is a stretch stitch even though you're on a straight stitch when you're using a twin needle. So have some fun. Take a look at all the videos that we have done on this beautiful Husqvarna Viking Onyx 25 sewing machine and learn how to master it from beginning to end.